Hello, friends. Come here, say hello, friends. Hello. Wave to them. Hello, friends. <laughs> okay. Tell them what you're doing. You're going to go see the neighbor and hang out on Larry's porch and talk about guy things, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Cause Can't even see them. <laughs> oh, they couldn't see. You couldn't see them. Oh, well, that's all right. They heard them. Well, hello, friends, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Renee. You saw my our grandson, Alaric. We missed him. We haven't seen him in about a month or so. So we get him for the next couple days. And that's fun. Um, we got a couple things going on today. This, I need to make, I am totally out of my snack mix in my market stand. So we've got to make some snack mix. I've got some, um, I harvested some celery yesterday because I, I used it for a dish that I was making and I saved the greens. So I want to chop them up because I use them like parsley. I'll freeze dry them. And the last thing that I want to make, and I, I know we'll have time for it because I, you know, had planned on making it, was a, um, an easy recipe for a New York style cheesecake. We want to make a cheesecake. So I'm going to show you this recipe and you're going to love it. And I will let you know where this recipe came from when I start making it. But for right now, we're going to put this together. And I don't know if I've ever done this on video or not, but you're going to find out again just how it works. And I'll also give the recipe to this. Even though I make it a little different every time I make it, still the butter and the spices is all the same. So I use a whole box of Cheerios and these Cheerios are heart shaped. They're cute as can be. And I usually use the rice, corn and wheat checks, but I can't find the wheat and the corn checks. So I've got two boxes of rice checks I'm going to put in here. Works good. It works. I'm throwing my boxes over there because those are going to go to recycling. There's some corn checks. We're going to load this right up. This is garbage. I'll set that right there. We're going to do another box of these. Sometimes it's hard to find the the check cereal that you know the three different that you need so i just work with what i have and it sounds like hot bread anyway and friends all they have to do is put the roof on the um on ignazio the the outdoor oven and we're planning to do a cookout this weekend and our friend Nick and his family, and we're going to make the authentic Italian pizza. So hopefully I can bring you along because our friend Nick doesn't like to be on camera. But I can always blur his face out just so that you can see, you know, the recipe and cook in and all that good stuff. I got all kinds of, I got to save these bags. So that'll be fun. Okay, now we've got some salted peanuts. I use salted or dry roasted, whatever they have. So I'm gonna use all these. They're good with peanuts in them. And no, I don't save these jars, but I'm tossing it over here. No, I'm gonna set up here because that will go to recycling, but not with the paper. All right, this is fun. Once I get this going, then we'll mix it up. And then I'll put all my goodies in it, all my butter, and, and then we just got to bake it for a little bit. Oh, my goodness. I hate these things. Let me see if I can get this open. My thumbs don't work good, but my knife does. Okay. 
There we go. That works. Now we'll get it open. And I put all of them in there. And I get the colored ones. Recycling that goes. I make this about three times throughout the summer. My great big 30 quart bowl full. Of that up. Okay, and of course, my hands are clean. I'm not putting gloves on. I am just going to mix this up. Best way to do it when it's this much is with your hands. Just make sure they're clean. So here we go. Mix this all together. some more cheese crackers but I don't think I have any left in there but that's all right there's tons of stuff in there the regular ingredients for this is butter Worcestershire sauce and seasoning salt but I always throw in a little bit of garlic because it's just good so we're gonna get our margarine melting and I got my pan right here for it And this will melt really fast. Okay. So we're going to put this right here on the middle burner. And turn it up and we're going to let that get good. I'll put it on that one. Wrong burner. We'll let that melt. And in the meantime, I'm going to put nothing in there yet. I want that to get um, melted before I add this stuff and mix it in. I'll take care of that later. And that's the one I mix it with. That'll mix it nice when I pour the butter and seasonings in there okay so that's starting to melt so is what we're gonna do is we're gonna add two tablespoons of seasoning salt to this so I'm gonna take the lid off we want two heaping spoons of seasoning salt because we got a whole lot in here okay And we're gonna do two nice teaspoons or tablespoons of garlic. Not heaping though. No. And then we're gonna do the Worcestershire sauce, but I got the the tab on it. Okay, we're going to do three tablespoons of this. There we go. That's all I put in there. Okay. 
and give that a good mix. I can turn this off because it's going to finish melting. Just a minute here. Just get it mixed up really good. If you can get that seasoning salt dissolved in there, that's a plus. Okay, friends, this is all melted. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour all this. We're going to pour it all over here. Just like you'd be mixing up popcorn. And believe me, it'll all, it'll all soak in. Okay, get all that off the bottom. Perfect. Now we're just going to mix this really good. And for those of you who are wanting to do a market stand, this sells like crazy. People love snack mix. And I'm usually, I think most people would call this nuts and bolts, but it's not identical to nuts and bolts. But it is a good snack mix. And if you play around with your snack mix, you'll find exactly what people like. Well, I must have a community like my own family because they eat anything I put out there. They're like vultures in a feeding frenzy out in my market stand, and I love it. So we'll get this mixed up really good because you want everything coated as much as you can. Okay, I think that's good. It looks pretty good. You can tell everything's got a little bit of coating on it. So that's good. Okay, we got this one here. And I think the other one is in my oven. All right, so what we're going to do, we have got to set the oven to 300. Okay. And we're going to make a mess, of course. We're just going to fill these trays. And it doesn't take long. It takes about 15, 20 minutes. Just tell the butter soaks in and things get crispy. And that's what people like. And I don't load them too full. And I only put two in at a time. And I watch them closely because these will burn easy. I've done it before. I burned a whole tray of them one day. You know what? That's not working. I need my shovel. There we go. The shovel will work. I had a, a friend on YouTube called it. She said that thing's like a shovel. I've called it a shovel ever since. I love this thing. All right, let me give it a little bit more. Okay. This one can take just a little bit more too. I just don't want it too loaded. And you can, you know, flip it over, stir it up a little bit halfway through. But when my oven's ready, I'm going to stick this on. Actually, I'm going to put it in there right now, friends, because it isn't going to hurt a thing. I'm going to put it on here for 20 minutes. Then, let me put these back on here. And then about 10 minutes into it, I'll flip them over. And I'll see you when they're done. <laughs> I'm going to get all these boxes put in here because this is going to our recycling bin. And I don't mix anything with the cardboard. So. Go. I dropped those on the floor. I'm not trying to break that one down. That one will kill my thumbs. Anyway, so these will go to recycling. And I'll get everything cleaned up. And then I think while these are cooking, I'll go ahead and cut up my um, celery leaves. I just got a few of them, just from one bunch. I didn't harvest all of them yet because I've got to go get tomatoes. 
And I know my daughter buys them. She tells me, just go get them and, you know, she'll pay me back. So it works good. Okay, that's ready for recycling. My husband will take that out when it's ready. Okay, so with this, we're just going to set these right over here. These are doing okay in there. They're not even up to temperature. And I'm not going to start time in 10 minutes till it is up to temperature. Okay, so with this, this one don't go in there. I'm going to go ahead and I am going to chop these up and then I'm going to put them in the fridge. They've already been washed and they've been rinsing and draining. Now what I do with this is it looks like a big hot mess and all I do is wind it up into a big old ball and I start chopping it. Okay? Just like that. My mother got me hooked on doing this. She used to tell me, oh my gosh, don't throw the greens from the celery out. She'd say, dry it for me because I love it in my soups. And uh, ever since she did that, I thought, oh, that'll be good. So that's what I've been doing. So we'll chop these up. We don't need to chop them real fine because once they're freeze dried, they'll crumble. So these are good to go in the bag. And then I'll just leave them in the fridge until I'm ready to freeze dry. Hello. Say hello. Hello. What is it with their growling? Cece and Gussie Boy was doing that the other day. Well, he's a monster right now. Oh, he's a monster? Thanks, thanks he's a monster. Okay. What you got going on there? Somebody leave? Yeah, Larry had to go shopping. Oh. And Larry said he wanted to watch this cartoon. Well, the internet's back, so you're good. Okay, we're going to finish chopping these. All right. And that's almost done. That'll be ready for the freeze dryer. Perfect. All right, now I can get as much air out of them as I can. These are going to go in tonight, so I'm going to put them in my fridge for now and clean this mess up. Okay, friends, we got that done and out of the way. Well, I'm going to have a lot of that to freeze dry when I do harvest them all. <laughs> I'm going to have just tons of them. I got two big beds full of celery and it's beautiful. You know, when we were doing um, our bricks, we got so many bricks left over. I think we got enough to do a whole nother stone oven and we're probably going to sell them, you know, to get recoup some of our money back. And, um, I did find like three pieces of marble about, you know, maybe half the size of this and a little bit longer. Well, I'm going to clean those hunks of marble up and I'm going to use one right here. Um, I don't think it's going to be too heavy for it, but I'm going to use it right here on my chopping block. I'm going to remove this one. I'm going to replace it with the marble one and I think it'll be wonderful. 
I thought I had my camera rolling. A lot of these are done. I got the last two trays in the oven. So these are already cooled off. So I'm just going to start packaging and then I can get these out or get them labeled and then get them out in my market stand. Nice, nice, nice. That's all I do. Little sandwich bag. And I sell them for two bucks and they sell like hot bread all day long. So I'm gonna get these packaged and labeled and ready to go out to the stand. And then when I come back, we'll be doing the cheesecake. And you're gonna love that. that that's an easy recipe. I've never made it before. I'm trying a new recipe, but it seems very, very easy to make. Okay, friends, we are back and we are gonna get ready to do our cheesecake. It is a brand new day. I ran out of time yesterday. We got so busy with our stone oven, which is almost done. And I got a story to tell you on that in a chit chat. Anyway, we're gonna do cheesecake. I got all my snack mix done. You'll see that turns out beautiful every time. With this cheesecake recipe, I was watching uh, YouTube videos the other day uh, in some spare time I had, you know. Anyway, the one popped up for a cheesecake, and it was a, a gal that was making cheesecake, and I thought, hmm, I haven't made cheesecake in a long time. I want to see how she does it, you know, because it's always seems so complicated to make New York-style cheesecake, and it really isn't. But I was watching her. She's a sweetheart, friends, and her channel name is Mimi's Recipes, and when she was doing this cheesecake, on that video it happened to be her 82nd birthday how precious is that anyway she didn't have the recipe listed and of course I watched the video all the way through gave her a thumbs up she's wonderful she made this look easy peasy so we're gonna make this and I will though this is her recipe this is not mine not something I found years ago this I just discovered her the other day and I like it. I don't do this very often. If you've noticed, I don't always trust recipes online, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but she looked good. She looked good with her cheesecake. So this is her recipe. We are going to write this down in the description box for you. Otherwise, go visit her channel. She's got all kinds of goodies going on over there lots of desserts and i like her channel she's a sweetheart we're gonna start with a springform pan now i'm sure you could make this in pie tins you know that's fine you could do that too but i'm gonna use my springform pan i've got an 8 inch a 10 inch and a 12 inch and this one is the 10 inch and if you don't know they call it a springform pan because this right here when you undo this the bottom comes out. Makes it wonderful for cheesecake. So we've got that and we're gonna lightly spray that. I'm doing this just the way Miss Mimi did. And she lightly sprayed it. So we're gonna give that a light spray. We don't want nothing sticking, okay? We're gonna set that aside. Now the only difference with hers and mine is she used um, uh, vanilla wafers for her crust. I'm using graham crackers. That's what I like. So that's what we're using. We're going to take two packs. I'm going to take two packs of graham crackers. And you can use vanilla wafers. She does tell you how to do that on her channel. I'm going to put two packs in here. Okay. Set that aside. I'm so excited to see how this turns out. It looked beautiful on her video. 
And you know, sometimes you watch, I shouldn't mash, I shouldn't mash, but it's true, it's the brutal truth. Sometimes you watch recipes and you might try them out and they're just a total flop. And it's like, why did I even waste my precious resources and my ingredients on that? But I do think this one will turn out beautiful. All right, I'm gonna take the noise off or the sound off and I'm gonna grind these up. Okay, now I'm going to put five tablespoons of sugar in with this. Scant tablespoons. turn this on I'm gonna mute this so you don't hear it and I'm gonna drizzle the butter in there and we got a whole stick of butter That's mixed in pretty good. We're going to just take this out. We're going to dump it right in our spring form pan. Okay. My hands are clean, so we're just going to take we're going to start patting this around and we're going to bring it up the sides and all around this okay and i'm not going to bake this beforehand just a minute okay i'm going to take this cup that i have it's a one cup measuring cup and i'm just going to bring this all up the sides we'll see how that turns out to make sure I got a nice amount on the bottom. Oh, it's sticking together nicely. Okay. All right, that looks pretty good. I like that look. All right, I'll show you. It looks really nice all up the sides. And I just move that down so that it's not sticking over the edge. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna set that right over here on our stove. Okay, this can be put away. Okay, so now that I got a big mess everywhere, crack the crumbs. The filling is four bricks of cream cheese. I've already got them unwrapped and they're warm. So first thing first is we're gonna stick that right in here. And yes, I store all my goodies right in there so nothing gets lost. Okay, we're gonna put those right down in there. Thank you. 
okay? We're gonna put this hook on here. And we're gonna turn it on. Not yet. There we go. Now we're gonna turn it on. That's gonna mix and it's gonna get soft. You want it like, she said like a mayonnaise consistency. So that's what we're gonna do and I'll be right back. Now we're gonna do four eggs in here, okay? I'm just gonna let it go slow. I'm gonna crack these eggs just until the yolks are broke. You don't gotta whip them or nothing. Just get the yolks broken there, okay? Okay. And we're also, I hate talking about that loud thing. We're also going to put one cup of sugar in here and one tablespoon of vanilla. And that's all it is for the filling. And it needs to mix for about five minutes. So I'm gonna mix this for five minutes and then I'll be back. Alrighty, friends, this is mixed. Oh, this is wonderful. And I did scrape the sides down a little bit on it. Hey, Papa. Yeah, Papa. So take that off there. Beautiful. Okay, I'm just gonna scrape it down again. All right, now what we're gonna do, so I'm gonna go on this side so that you can see this being poured in here. <laughs> you can't see me. Okay, we're gonna pour this right in here. And yep. That's for sure. I kind of guessed that she had a 10 inch spring form pan and that's exactly what she had. Because it fits perfect in it. Okay. I'm just going to move that around a little bit in there. Okay, I have got my oven set. Look at this. Mmm, delightful. I've got my oven set to 375. Now, she tells us that there's two ways you can bake this. You can bake this low and slow. You can bake it at 300 for about 55 minutes. Or you can bake it at 375 for 35 minutes. And the reason why she likes 375, the higher, is because it makes the crust on this a little on the crispier side. And that's what I want. So it's your choice, really. But anyway, this is going to go in the oven. 375 degrees. I can't do it yet. It is not up to temperature. It's pretty close. So as soon as that reaches temp, I'm going to put this in there, time it for 35 minutes, and then I'll bring it back and we'll do the next step. Okay, friends. It's been 35 minutes. And this cheesecake is still going to be a little on the jiggly side. Okay, we're going to set it right here, just like so, because now we're going to put together our little sour cream topping. So with this, we're going to do the sour cream um, topping. So it's eight ounces of sour cream. So that's just about a good cup. Okay, let me get...
that in. And we're also going to add one tablespoon of sugar to that. Okay. Now, we're just going to give this a good mix. just going to start putting this right on here and it's still jiggly so Now this is going to go back in the oven for five minutes. And we'll be back. All right, we're going to hit cancel on this oven and this is done. sit right on here okay this is gonna sit here this thing is gorgeous absolutely and it smells divine okay friends this beautiful cheesecake is gonna sit here for about 20 minutes and cool off at which time I'm gonna stick this in my refrigerator and I'm gonna let it chill for about a good four to five hours so we'll be able to try a piece of this tonight and that way you'll be able to know if you want to make this cheesecake or not so when this is all ready to dive into i'll be back okay friends our beautiful cheesecake i'm going to show this to you before we open it up it's gorgeous Okay, so this is what I do. Okay, I'm just gonna go right around the edge. Just to break it off the side so you're able to take the So you're able to take the um, pan off. And you just open your pan up like so. Okay. And it should come off pretty easy. Come on. There we go. Look at that gorgeous cheesecake. Just look at that beauty, friends. That is gorgeous. All right, so I'm going to cut my husband. I need to give him a fork. I'm going to get two forks. I'm just going to go right straight across. You don't need a very big piece because this is very, very rich. So we're just going to cut it like so. And look at that. Absolutely beautiful. 
and I got a little bit of strawberries on there for him. And take a look, friends, at that. Perfect. This is a perfect recipe. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut one more slice for me. Just another itty bitty slice. But I don't care for berries on mine. I like mine just plain. So we're going to taste this. <clears throat> Yum. See, she said you should get about 16 pieces out of that size of a cheesecake. And yeah, because they're they're pretty thin because it is very um, rich. Here we go. Mm. That, friends, is a wonderful... Oh, that's delicious. That's a delicious recipe. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you don't have to sit here and listen to me ooh and ah and mmm. You know, this is beautiful. And you're going to absolutely love this. Well, there we go, friends. Thank you for hanging out with me in the kitchen. We had a ball in this video. We did, I uh, did tons of snack mix and it's all labeled beautiful for my market stand. We did this absolute gorgeous cheesecake from Mimi's Recipes. Check out her channel, she's wonderful. The cheesecake is divine. So thank you friends for hanging out with me in the kitchen. We had a ball, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you give these recipes both a try. And I will see you in the next video. And thanks, friends, for watching. Hello, friends. Here's Sweet Pea. Try yours. I put strawberries on it. Oh, it's delicious. Mm-hmm. Isn't that good? You liked it with the strawberries? Mm-hmm. Very delicious. Yum. Yum. Ha, <laughs>